In this beginner's guide tutorial, I'm going to share with you how to use the Google Jamboard. So Google Jamboard is very easy to access. You can access it by just coming to your browser and just type in jamboard.google.com. You can get organized with this very platform where you can freely arrange your things freely draw and brainstorm your ideas within and even share with your friends. So you can come to jamboard.google.com or you can come to your email address. From your email address, you can come to the Google Apps over here and you can come down straight and you see it Jamboard. Once you click on this, it's going to open the Google Jamboard and you can start your work accordingly. So without taking much of our time, let's get started. Google Jamboard actually is a very interesting app that you can use to brainstorm ideas and share your ideas with your group or your team at work or in school and then you can export it easily you can collaborate very very easily you can collaborate with your friends with your team members on a particular same work sheet to get to google jamboard all you need to do is to come over to your browser and just type jamboard.google.com just hit enter and you should make sure you are signed in with your google account once you are signed in with your google account then it will bring you to this and then it says you don't have a jam yet so to create a jam all you need to do is to come over to this plus icon at the bottom right you just click on it and it will bring you into this very fresh frame okay this is a fresh frame that you can see as usual when you have a google app being opened for a start just like we did in Google uh, Google Drive and all the other ones Google Forms all you need to do is to come over here and start give it a name for example you can say for example let's say this is our Toastmasters meeting plus brainstorming so this is the name that we just give to our Jamboard so down here to your left you can see a bunch of items that you can play around with and you can easily bring them into the board the first one you can see is the pen when you click on this small arrow by the side of it, it's going to bring in different kind of pens that you can select and even the color that you can select. This is the uh, this is the pen, this is marker, this is highlighter, okay, you, this is a brush. You can easily choose a pen maybe to start writing something and anything you can write on your own for illustration. And you can choose the coloration, you may want to write in a different color very easily. And you can use the eraser at any given point to erase a particular act another beautiful feature that I, al I always want to use and i enjoy using is the use of the sticky notes you can bring in sticky note you can start writing anything our first meeting okay you can play with the background color you can change the color to anything and once you are done you click on save and you can cancel and it's going to show this as your first frame you are free to increase the size or to decrease it according to your liking so you can keep it let's say we keep it here our first meeting then we'll give details about this meeting who will be the art counter who will be the role players who will be the speakers and who will evaluate this meeting that, that's just going to be our first meeting so over here you can rotate it uh, maybe you can tilt it to any side you can come to these three dots and you have the option to edit what is inside to duplicate what is inside or to delete sticky note at all completely so you can duplicate this and you can move it around and you can call it something else so you can just click on this and say edit and you can call this our second meeting and you save this so this is our second meeting and we can give the details later so over here you can add an image into this you can bring in any image for example i want to bring in image you can bring in image from you can upload the image manually or you can bring in image from a google search or from a google drive or from a google photos okay so easily you can or you can search from a file okay so let's say we want to upload the photo we just click we bring in this photo when i'm speaking okay so we can just put this at the bottom here our first and second meeting what will happen so you can bring in any you can bring in images to this and add to your frame and then over here you have the circle or you have some elements that you can add in over here you can bring in shapes and add to your frame and once you click here you have a circle but then you can bring in different images for example you click on this little arrow and you will see you can bring in arrow you can bring in half circle you can bring in a square or anything of your choice okay 
maybe two that will help you to illustrate very nicely and you can bring in text also you can add in text to anything you can say maybe speakers who will be the speakers you can line them up and put more maybe you can say so you can adjust and then you can pan it okay we have our first speaker or something like that so down here we have the laser tool the laser tool will enable you to highlight a given case as you are explaining in your frame so for example we are talking about our first meeting so you can see it helped us to just highlight that this is our first meeting and this is our first speaker for the first meeting this is our first speaker this is why we have our speaker so it just helps you to sort of demonstrate what is going on over there so we have our second meeting and we can concentrate on the key features that we have so up here you have you can clear the whole frame to make it free and you can set a background for the frame you can make it some like this uh, mathematical notebook or you can make it to appear you can clear it and you can undo with just ctrl z and you can put in the normal display on the, the text with the arrangement the text color you can resize and align it and you over here you can zoom in to any fat uh, to any to any size you can put 25 50 percent or you can fit to the screen or you can zoom in or out according to your liking and you can redo or undo just like we have ctrl z and ctrl v so over here you have the list of frames that you have uh, on this particular jam board on this particular frame so you can add a frame by just coming here create a new frame and it will create a different frame for you maybe we can click on this and then we can give it third meeting can click on save and it added this as our third meeting we can bring it to the center and we can put in the text to signify speakers for example speaker one Roshan and so on so you can bring in this and you can see the arrangement of the frames once you click on this you will see the various frames that you have this is frame one this is frame two you can navigate easily from frame one to frame two and uh, you can always take it back to the previous loop or you can move to the previous frame easily and then down here once you're done with the with your frame writing and all you can share with your colleagues as well or you can invite your team members to be able to contribute to your work as you are working so to share with your team members all you need to do is come over to click on this share Right now it's private it has only access uh, given access to me you can invite others to join by clicking or copying this link and sharing it with them you can change the controls by coming over here and you can see anyone with this link can edit so once you're done you say done and you can do the same sharing by inviting your friends through their emails once you just type the email it's going to invite them directly so for example we are inviting this guy i will put in some message if you want and once you're done you click on send and it's going to send it to him he can participate in the editing as i'm editing as i'm changing things he's equally seeing it and he's equally making inputs and i can see his input right away in this jump board so over over here you have more options that you can do you can rename the, the board and you can download it as a pdf you can once you click on this it's going to download it as a pdf or you can save a frame as an image okay you can select any frame and you can save it as an image for example i can save this frame as an image and it's just going to download it for me over here as an image so i can always refer to it and i can do whatever i want with it and it's a very clear image that you can see still on the drop down you can remove a particular frame you can make a copy of it and then you can do others see different history or versions of your a jump and you can do you can see you can seek different help from google and they will respond to you very easily lastly we have the present to a meeting if you click on the drop down you have the option to present this idea to a meeting okay if you have an upcoming meeting you can just join the meeting and then you can present this whole idea brainstorming with your team members in that meeting very easily and very nicely so ladies and gentlemen this is about google jamboard you can brainstorm your ideas with your friends with your colleagues with your team members very easily 
and you can share and collaborate with them. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. If you do enjoy this video, kindly give it a thumbs up and remember to hit the like and subscribe button to stay connected to this channel for more of our very useful videos. I will see you in my next video. Bye.